It's an unusual day for the House to sit due to the task ahead of them. These 23 PDP lawmakers have accepted and considered the recommendation of an investigative panel set up by the Chief Judge of Oyo State on the petition filed against the State Deputy Governor, Mr. Rauf Olanio, who had defected to the All Progressives Congress, APC. They found him culpable and voted for his removal. Postcard to Section 189 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 99, as amended. That the Deputy Governor of Royal States, His Excellency General Alanio, stand removed from the office with the first of today, Monday, 18 July 2022. Just after the impeachment, the House reconvenes to fill the gap that was just created. The Assembly approves the nomination of Bayer Lawal, a barrister, who was forwarded to them by the Governor, Sheyi Makide, to replace Mr. Olanio. <laughs> After that ratification by the House, attention shifts to the executive arm as a short ceremony is held at the governor's office, where Mr. Lawal is administered with the oath of office. Do solemnly swear that I will be, that I will be faithful, faithful, and be actually against the federal republic of Nigeria, and that, and that I will serve, I will serve the federal republic of Nigeria. And you the Constitution. Governor Shei Makide, while reading out his scope of assignment, noted that the Housing Corporation, Oyo State Road Maintenance Agency, and the Ministry of Justice will be under the supervision of the new Deputy Governor. The position of a Deputy Governor is a position of trust. Our masters are the people of Oyo State. And our responsibility is to continue to serve them to the best of our abilities and deliver good governance to them. So let me encourage you to put the interest of the good people of Oyo State first. The newly sworn in deputy That's governor promises not to abuse the privilege given to him in his advisory and supervisory roles. So it's a challenge. To me as a person, and it's a challenge to all of us in Oyo State to cooperate with a view of moving the Oyo State government forward in, in all ramifications. Mr. Bayolawal, who is a running mate to Governor Sheyi Makide for the 2023 elections, holds a bachelor's degree of economics and law from the University of Ibadan and was also the chairman of the Oyo State Housing Corporation.